Hey guys, it's Crystal Renee here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining. In this video, I'm going to be giving you part one of my long awaited plant tour. If you're interested, then stay tuned. This part of my home is what I call my corner of peace. And I will be sharing with you each plant I have in this area. Here I have my Hoya obovada. It has been growing quite well for me. I need to stick it up. It's grown two new leaves since I've had her in my care. Next up is my Hoya Carii. I've been having it for some time and this too as well has given me two new leaves since it has been in my care as well. Here is my Hoya Macophilium. It has been a slow grower for me although it has given me about three new leaves but I only have two of those three new leaves because the others fell off. Over here I have my Raphidophoria tetrasperma cutting which I received as a gift. It was just one leaf and all this has grown since then. Here in this corner I have my variegated string of hearts. It is truly on the other side, which you can't see from this angle. Here I have the mother plant of my Raphidophoria tetrasperma. As you can see, it has all these new points pushing from its stem. That is because I just recently took a lot of cuttings from her and she is pushing out all this beautiful new growth. Next up is my Hoya Crinkle 8. This baby has been growing magnificent for me. As you can see, it's putting out a new leaf as we speak. Here I have my Calathea medallion. Yes, she looks different from the last time you all have seen her. I had to completely chop her down to nothing and this is what she has given me in return. She's doing great. Here I have one of the many babies I took from my mother Pylea Pepper Mortis and it seems to be doing great. Now here is my Chinese Evergreen Emerald. It is so gorgeous. It has been putting off leaf after leaf. This plant never disappoints. It's always growing. Here I have my Scandapsis Pixis, also known as the Satin Pothos. It is finally pushing out new growth from the last time I took cuttings. Here is one of my African Violets with the white blooms, but it has yet to bloom for me. Here I have a mixture of Pothos, Propagating and Leca. I have Golden Pothos. Neon, Marble Queen, and Pathos Enjoy. Here I have my Hartley Philodendron, where it's living its best life. Here I have cuttings from my mother plant of String of Hearts that is propagating in water and doing very well. 
up top here I have my Monsteria Adansonii and it is growing looking good right next to it I have one of my jades it's a slow grower but it's giving me progress look at my gorgeous pothos enjoy that is beginning to trail already since the last cut back here in the corner I have my anthurium red which is growing it finally bloomed for me here in my double hanging basket I have my neon pothos and down below I have my golden pothos which isn't doing too good it's looking a little bit sad on one side so I may have to cut and propagate here is my purple passion or purple velvet back here I also have my Anansonia cutting that I'm growing as a new plant here's my tiger jaws over here doing its thing he's been growing Here's my baby fiddly fig, which I'm waiting for it to produce more growth. It is so slow. Another slow grower is my Marble Queen Pothos, but it is gorgeous. Back over in this corner, I have my Cebu Blue cutting, which was only two cuttings, but now is growing like crazy. Here's my Hoya Curtsy Eye. It's slowly growing. My Monsteria Celta Pecana was slowly growing, but now it's putting out new leaves. My String of Pearls and my Sad Zebra plant, which needs water. Over here, I have my Philodendron Micans, which I took cuttings from just recently. Right next to it, I have my Syngonium Arrowhead Maria, which is growing very lovely. She has gotten so tall since being over here in this corner where she loves it. Over here hanging, I have my mother plant of String of Hearts and my Hoya Crimson Queen and they are doing amazing. Down here, I have my variegated spider plant. I don't know if you all remember or not, but I received this croton for a dollar at Walmart and it has been growing tremendously. It is always putting out new leaves. Down here below, I have my original ZZ, and right next to it, I have my Spathophyllium, also known as the Peace Lily. And over here in this corner, I have my ZZ Raven. My Black Pangoda Lipstick Plant, which is growing very well. Back here, I have my Snow White Waffle Plant. It is very finicky, it dies, and I bring it back. Here I have my Hindu Rope, which is growing, but slowly growing. Back over here, I have are the cuttings from my Raphidophoria Tetrasperma Mother Plant, and they are growing very well in Lekka. Up front is my Alocasia African Mask. My Philodendron Brazil looking gorgeous. Over here I have my Pink Syngonium Arrowhead which have been growing beautifully. Down here below I have my Goldfish Plant 
who is also putting out blooms all the time. Here's my second African Violet with the purple blooms. It blooms for me all the time. And right next to it, growing in Leca, I have a mixture of my Albo Variegata and my Jade Syngonium Arrowhead. And which each variety has given me a new leaf. Here we have the mother plants of my Pilea Peppermortis. It is always pushing out plenty of babies. It has babies growing as we speak. And so far so good. She is living her best life. Right over here, I have my Berry Illusion Syngonium Arrowhead. This plant has been growing like crazy for me. I just recently placed her in Leca and she is doing well. This big boy right over here, this is my money tree. Lately, it's been dropping a few leaves, but I think I figured out the root problem. I think I was underwatering. So now I think I have it under control. Last but not least, I have my Dracaena Reflecta, also known as the Song of India. And that is my corner of peace. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and enjoy peace, spread love, and be blessed. Hey. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms. And until next time, happy growing.